All right, thanks again for joining me here on 3 Minute Knives, where we go over the ins and outs of a particular knife in three minutes or less. Usually, once again, this one may go a over a little bit, because this is another knife, kind of like my uh, review on the uh, Navaja Barbudo Balmas. Um, it's one that uh, you don't see that often. Not a lot of people are familiar with it. Um, so just going over the, uh, you know, who makes this, where it's made, the design aspects uh, may go over a little bit. So this is the Billy Wah Demo Knife. The Billy Wah Demo. It is a RYP, which stands for Robert Young Pelton, and a William Harsey collaboration. RYP, Robert Young Pelton, also does DPX gear knives, which maybe uh, some of you are more familiar with DPX gear. Um, and if you are familiar with DPX gear, you can see the design aspects in this as well and actually the pocket clip on here is the exact same one they use in a lot of the uh, DPX gear knives which isn't a bad thing it's a big clip but it works great and the way it's designed you can really kind of get in here and, and grab it when it's in your pocket and slide it right out so I do like that I didn't like how big it was at first but it really has a has a purpose so anyway Billy Waugh the uh, guy that this was designed for was a Army Special Forces guy and the CIA paramilitary. Um, he's written books on his experience, uh, experiences in the uh, in the war, um, things that he's gone through. And Robert Young Pelton is also an author. And so they got together and they decided to come up with this: the Billy Wah demo. Now, they, they came up with the name Demo because uh, one of Billy's favorite tools was the machine-stamped Demo knife issued to soldiers in Vietnam. Um, so that's where the name Demo came from. William Harsey. Most of you should be familiar with that name. They make some great knives as well. Now, this is made, uh, manufactured by Lion Steel, which is in Italy. Lion Steel does some great stuff, too. So let me go over the specs of this guy, 9.13 overall. It's big. Bigger than a lot of the DPX gear knives. 3.78 inch blade length, M390. Can't go wrong with that. 0.16 inches thick. Runs on IKBS bearings. 5.35 inch handle. 3D mill titanium handle with this great diamond pattern. Gives it a little bit of texture. 6.8 ounces, right hand, left hand tip up. So overall, I dig this knife. I, I like it a lot. It, for me, it fits my hand perfectly. It's so comfortable. You kind of have this little swell right here. You know, it's all chamfered out all along the edges, even the blade. Nicely rounded. It's really a beautiful knife. Hard use. And one other thing, which I'm sure you've noticed, what the heck is this on the back here? Well, it's kind of a backspacer. But let's just check it out. This is an awl spike. Now an awl is a tool, you know, use, you can use it for, for punching, punching holes in, in items. Um, this one is great for uh, if you have a rope with a really tight knot in it. You can, you know, sailors used to use these to pull knots apart. You can also poke an eyeball out with that. It's, it's actually kind of sharp. But yeah, you know, you can punch some holes in leather and make a starter hole in wood. It's actually kind of a useful tool. I kind of dig it, and it feels, even with that out and holding it in hand, it could, could really be a pretty useful defense weapon as a last resort as well. Um, it's got its own lock bar. This is on uh, phosphor bronze washers. Very smooth and locks up solid. Yeah, I, I kind of dig that too. I like it when you know you can add a little bit extra to a knife to make it a little more useful. Now this is not smooth smooth right out of the box. It's pretty stiff. I'm sure if you took this apart, cleaned it up, you could make it a little bit smoother. But it does, you can flip it, you can finger flick it and thumb flick it out. Take, it takes a little bit of work because this one is a little stiff. There we go. 
but you know that that's never been a huge thing for me um, if it's a well-designed knife as long as it's smooth that's what I care about and this is beautiful you've got this glass breaker on the end but it also comes with this flathead if you don't like the glass breaker you can switch it out for that so that's kind of cool just a really cool knife designed by some uh, some great guys if you're unfamiliar with Billy Wall look him up get some of his books great uh, great American you, know, you can call him a hero I guess uh, uh, just done some great work for the uh, Army Special Forces the CIA Just a beautiful knife. I, I dig it. Oh, one thing I, I, I don't really care for is the uh, the pivot and the screws here. It's not Torx. Uh, it's an Allen wrench, basically. I think it was 7 64ths Allen wrench. Which, I don't know, maybe, maybe they do that with other DPX gear knives. The Billy Wah Demo Knife. Check it out. And they're really not badly priced for what it is. Not at all. I'll put some links uh, in the description where you can get this. Or some info down there. Alright, thanks.